hire partners who are there and my team. Why? Because you have made our life easier. As the Minister for Finances, the envelope we have here is very slim and very small. Yet the expectation for the Homabi people is very high. And despite all that, we have tried to ensure that the biggest, the biggest share of the budget goes to health, despite that. And as the DG says, indeed, we must ensure that you have a line budget, budget line, to take into account some percentage of contribution toward HIV AIDS and uh, TB, because these are traditionally areas that have been donor dependent. And as you transit, we must transit some of those things. It's very, very important we're talking about transition. And transition has got two stages. One, that we must be able to take over the running of these services. We cannot depend on RT, uh, 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 RV, RVC, RV, RV, ARVs throughout, and you can see what happened here during the problem we had. The most affected county was Summer Bay. A lot of people cried, a lot of people suffered because we did not take into account the need at least to put a budget on HIVs. It is time that we must do that. We want people with leave living with HIV to live a very full life and uh, be able to be around to see their grandchildren grow up and, and be here for a very long time. CDC has supported, besides HIV, has supported a lot of activities here also in malaria, for instance, the malaria vaccine implementation program, which was supported in eight counties and has shown really positive results in reducing childhood mortality. The county does have a very severe burden uh, of various diseases, but under the leadership of the governor and uh, Professor Muga and all the whole team here, the deputy governor, really has made great progress in the last 12 years. So as CDC, we're really um, very honored to be able to work with you. This occasion, as Homer Bay County becomes the first county to sign